on this episode, we're seeing in a fender. So that's the inside of the fender. I taped off the inside because I didn't want a lot of overspray in there. It will get a rubberized type undercoating when it's finished. So this is two coats of epoxy sealer on the bottom and then two coats of 2K primer on the top. That's a fingerprint where I touched it when I carried it. And then that's a fingerprint where I touched it when I carried it. So this, so this primer, it's kind of powdery pasty looking on the top and it rubs off. So most of these primers are designed to be sanded. There's different types of primers. I don't really want to go into all that because it's kind of confusing but so basically let's just go with there's acid etch or let's just say regular primer so I'm using the so I put down the epoxy sealer first that's my base that sticks to the metal the 2k primer sticks to the epoxy then the paint sticks to the primer then the clear sticks to the paint. The other option is you sand that fender, you heat it with acid etch, and then that primer sticks to the fender, and then your two or then your that primer sticks to the fender, and then you put your base coat on, and then your clear coat. So it's like one less step. And here comes a rainstorm. But if you've been paying attention. I've been doing some polishing so I used this kind and it's a variety pad and so this is the most firm pad the most abrasive for bringing out that thousand grit and two thousand grit sandpaper and I, I burned the green one up and I burned up the one from the Lowe's. So I got an extra one of those. And then because they also have variety packs with just the firm one in there. So I got extra ones of those. So if you're keeping track, you're gonna need more of these. And then I bought some 800 grit sandpaper, some 2000 grit sandpaper, and then the 1000 grit is on its way. It should be here today or tomorrow. This brand I like is this, it's the Velcro back. And it works with all my sanding pads. That fender's really curved. There's no straight pieces on it, but this will curve pretty, pretty well. This one curves pretty well. And then I got a flat one. So it, this stuff is really designed for these blocks. So it just fits right on there. And then you just cut it. And I don't know if this, if this is wet sandable or not, but we're gonna find out. I'll tell you that. So you'll know. On the reviews, it kind of said yes, no, but we'll see. So if you thought that sanding the clear coat was boring, this is gonna be even worse. But, Let's talk about the whys. This fender is 80 years old. It's seen a thing or two. It's been through a thing or two. They used a file on it so they could put Bondo on it. So it had some really deep scratches. There was some 
dudes you saw me hammer out on another video they're not perfect so the epoxy goes down and seals the metal and the 415 and all that other stuff it bonds to all of that that's your base and then what we did is we put two coats of primer on there and think of that as a primer filler so that's going to build up with primer and then we can sand it down to make it smooth. You can't sand the epoxy. I mean, you can try, but it's just gonna clog up your paper. Uh, if you go outside of the recode times, then you're gonna have to sand it. So I sprayed this with or epoxy, and then I hit it with the primer the same day. So it's a chemical adhesion. This has been drying for a couple of days, but it's fine. And so now what we're going to do is we have to sand the whole fender to make a surface for the base coat to stick to the primer. If you watch, there's powdery residue on my hand. That's the overspray from the primer. So we can wipe all of that off with a tack rag, but when you feel it, it's it's lumpy, bumpy, build up -y primer stuff. So first I want to see if my wax and grease remover is going to dissolve my primer. So I'm going to go over here to some of this paper with the overspray. And it doesn't, so we're good. So I just want to wipe it down with wax and grease remover to get the fingerprints off and it's so sticky that the rag is not flowing so it's just pulling off the dust it's not pulling off the actual primer but it's too sticky so we'll just go straight to sanding for sanding purposes on the primer 600 to 800 grit is usually what people use I prefer the 800 grit just because so we should be able to get good scratch on here smooth this out you'll see people put powder on there you'll see them spray it with spray paint <clears throat> so that they know they're hitting all of the parts and I'll show you that so this is just a almost empty can of flat the flat sands easier than the gloss. They make a specific product for this, but all you really gotta do is something like this. You'll sometimes see cars driving down the road dressed like this. That's because they're in between sanding and stuff. But in actuality, that that paint that's exposed like this is getting hit with road grime and all sorts of other stuff and usually not a very good way to do it. So my 800 grit, my tube times glasses, and here we go. This is pretty wobbly, so I'm going to hold it.
make a bear howl.
ain't enough Living foot will almost do a man So be a little love try to explain what's happening here because the camera cut off and this is epoxy sealer this is epoxy sealer so we're burning through the primer and getting down to the epoxy that's fine we can still paint over this What I'm working on is this is a dent, that's a dent, that's a dent. They're coming up. The white stuff is dust, paint dust.
that old cypress storm Chopping trees, driving a tractor all day He works that push pile all night down the hall and doll way done for now there's a couple spots but I think out there uh, there's a couple spots but I think when we put the paint down and the clear and sand all that I think they'll pretty much disappear 
So what I'm looking for is even scratches from that sandpaper going over this primer and making it flat. So these dark spots are where the epoxy showing through a little bit. This is epoxy. This is poor 15 black under that. Those, those little dents are pretty small now. There's a couple of more. But I think that paint will hide them pretty good. We'll have to see that if we don't like it, then we got to sand and do all that other stuff. But I think I'm going to like it. When you run your hand over it, it feels smooth. 800 grit smooth. So this is about four or five hours worth of work sanding this thing. If you use a 600 grit, it's going to go a little bit faster. You're going to go a little bit deeper. You'll have more of this epoxy showing. Uh, it's a personal preference. I'd rather go slow, take off lighter, thinner layers at a time. So I got one more of these to sand and then we'll throw them back in there and we'll hit them with the color. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.